Number 31. Peppers didn't flare here, but Roland DeWolf put a sweet bluff down against the Razor Ian Fraser, playing his first Premier League poker in season two. Roland has had his moments in Premier League poker. He is a good player, isn't he? Yeah, he's decent. He's solid. He's a winning poker player. He's won a lot of big results, but he's just involved in all the sports betting these days, isn't he? Doing his own thing and playing in private games. So we don't see him as much anymore. He, he's got a quirky game as well, doesn't he? I mean, you think he's underrated sometimes by people? or uh, I haven't played with him enough to really have a, a true, a good opinion on him, but uh, I know he's played well when I've played with him before. He did show up for the million-dollar one drop out of nowhere. Went quite deep, I think. Yeah, he was doing all right. I was going along. I was talking to him on the breaks because I think we were the last two English guys in or what have you, but he's a good friend of mine. But, uh, I haven't played a, a ton of poker with him. And I think this is blind on blind. So F Fraser's limped here, and he could have either limped to call or limped to, to re-raise, I guess. Uh, looks like he's limp called. Which is fair enough with that hand. You don't usually see Roland getting deep in the pots with the bluff, but... Uh... Hey, Jake. Right. Sorry, that's <laughs> yeah, he's normally on the tighter <laughs> side, so it's, I like it when... I've played this game before. No, that's a bad time. I think he likes to have a bit of fun with Fraser. They do have a... They like to needle each other, for sure. That happened in the later seasons. I think they played heads up for a seat at the final. I think Roland just barely got him that year. I think once you've limp called and the flop comes ace high, it's pretty, pretty obvious. You're obliged to call a couple of times, don't you, at least? Kind of a big card for Roland, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's 27% here. It feels massive. 20,000. You like that bet? Um, no, I'd prefer to check and, you know, try and pick off some bluffs. But, uh... As it happens, it's cool. probably the best player. This particular hand, I believe, killed Fraser's Premier League chances this season. And uh, you can see the blank on the river, but Roland makes a big move. Hold on. And it's the small bet that did it, isn't it? He's well, betting 25 into 116. Yeah, he bet 20 again. He bet 20 on the turn and then 20 on the river. And Roland snapped that off, didn't he? It's the kind of blocking bet that I think Fraser used to do quite a lot, and the the better players just have the uh, the kryptonite for it these yeah, days. Yeah, that doesn't get used these days because people just do like what you've just seen and just moving over the top. It's a pretty obvious value bet that doesn't want to bet too much in case it's not the best hand. So it's a good play by Roland. Mullered or top or spot for Ian. Like, he would have played the flush like this, Roland, wouldn't he have? Yeah, the only problem is when, uh, for me, if I was in the spot and I was Ian and, I, li and uh, I limped in and Roland raised the big blind, there's not too many combos of hearts that you could have. It's like queen jack of hearts, queen ten of hearts, and then you start going down to your suited connected heart. So it's, is he moving in with just a flush or a set maybe? And so it's not that many hands that you lose to. I can't put you on an end while you'd call me on a turn, Roland. I can't, for the life of me, think what you could have. <laughs> But it's hard. He has to be have, has to have an air ball, <laughs> right? You imagine he had something when he bet the flop and called the turn, and it's a really tough spot for Ian. I don't blame him for folding. It's just a good play by Roland. And the Wolf does. He always cultivates a tight image in these Premier Leagues. Yeah, he, yeah, he's normally pretty tight as well. So he's not really going to be bluffing for all his chips too often on the river. It was a great moment. It nearly won role in the Premier League. He came second this year to Andy Black and actually got quite unlucky in that spot. He feels like that was just shot that year. The only thing I can put you on is Queen Ten of Arts or something. Queen Jack of Arts. That's yeah. the only thing I can get. I you. thought it through properly. So He thinks through hands well, Ian. Yeah, he's, I mean he's not scared to make a big call. Can't no. put it on any other end. 
<coughs> That's Wait, basically yeah. what he was saying. He only really loses the Queen Jack of Hearts or the Queen Ten of Hearts. And that was a big turning point on who would go forward and who wouldn't in the Premier League. Couldn't put you on anything else. 